This film is about talking about it. Death and dying is often described as the last taboo in our society. I asked two people known to the Hospice of St Francis their views about talking about it. About how we as a society talk about death and dying. What about talking about dying? And what about hospice care? These are their views. I don't think we do talk about it. Um, you hear about it every day, mm. people dying. Um, I suppose it doesn't make good news, people living. People dying is another is another issue, you know, wow, we're alive again. Um, I think generally as a rule we kind of try to ignore it, pretend it's not happening, um, and we don't talk about it unless you're kind of thrown into a situation where suddenly it's sort of there and something happens and we're forced to talk about it. Um, but even then I think it's brushed under the carpet a bit too often and we don't talk about it our emotions and the really, you know, basic things that are quite important really. Just, just your emotions and how you behave in your life. So like my dad was a very sort of unemotional or unaffectionate sort of person, but that completely changed mm. towards the end and he came as the complete opposite and it was fantastic. And we just had such a an honest and open kind of relationship. I think they were great benefits. I think I think he in the last you know, towards the end of his life, he was also incredibly honest with people around him. Um, to the point of embarrassment sometimes because he'd say exactly what he thought. Which sometimes you think, Oh no, Grand swallow me up please <laughs> Um, so he learned how to just say what he thought but very rarely was he rude he was a real gentleman so you know he's not one to be rude generally speaking except on a very rare occasion and then it was quite funny I suppose for us anyway um, but he was honest with all of us and he you know he expressed exactly what he wanted from us after he was gone, how he hoped that, you know, us as a family, as in my sister and my brother, would remain, you know, good a family, which we are anyway, we're a very close family, but, you know, obviously that was important to him, that he was assured that mm. that would continue, um, all of those kind of quite positive things, I think, um, he just wanted to know that, you know, we were well taken care of, really, and that we were happy as well. I mean, literally, the week before he died, all of us, he'd sort of asked us some very, sort of, you know, personal questions about things like that, just, you know, mm. and it was really... He said some Francis Hospice for the living. Mm. Fantastic. You've got to get mm. it out there rather than... Because my perception is he, that's where you go. He was really at ease with himself when it came. To begin with, he was not. He was angry, he was bitter um, about what was wrong with him because it was caused, it was an industrial injury. He had uh, mesothelioma, so he was very angry. Um, but towards the end, he was so at peace with himself, with us, and that, that I'm really grateful for. There was no there was no anger, there was, he just wanted to make sure that we were all, we were all happy and content in our own lives and things like that. So that was really, really nice and positive, I think. Um, I suppose it's, traditionally the, the communication has been pretty poor on what a hospice can do for the living. The, the ill people. So I don't think the um, the portrayal of a hospice is um, is out there in, in, in the general public. I don't think so. And what they could do for the living. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Because people come and go. I mean, listen, I'm enjoying coming here. Mm. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be around for for some time yet. Getting um, the support from. 
dying is natural, we all die, and it doesn't always have to be a sad thing. It is sad, it's very sad. We all get to get upset and cry when somebody dies. You know, that goes without saying. But there can also be some really good things that come out of it too. Um, just by changing the way that you are with that person, just having a different sort of relationship. And I think when somebody, when you don't know somebody's going to die, it's very sudden and you don't get the opportunity to discuss, to do things together, to laugh, to cry, to do all those normal things together. But when somebody is ill through an illness and it's um, and you have time, you can go through all of those kind of emotions and I think all of those things can be very positive. So long as you can all be honest with yourselves as well at the same time. I think that's quite important. Talking about it is a personal thing. And we've just heard some personal views about how we as a society talk about death and dying. About talking about it as a patient, a carer and a family member. We've also heard that hospices are about living as well as dying. Here at the Hospice of St Francis, we're committed to help people to talk about it, talk about living and dying, if and when they want to, because it's about total care when time is precious. So let's talk about it. <laughs>